So I will get into it um, here. We are going to float back down through the clouds, uh, skim the surface of the water. It is early evening with um, the light kind of starting to fade and twinkling off this blue gem island that you're able to kind of see with a long staircase leading up to what looks to be some kind of shrine at the top of it. Um, you all were on deck, uh, having successfully navigated um, after um, Alcarab chose a specific uh, constellation to follow for the route. Um, and you were able to uh, make your way here. Um, Zin was the victim of a hate crime. Um, Atham was taking over the, the ruttering. And yeah, such. I'm at the tiller. Tiller, yes. Um, and then what else is the other one? And uh, yeah, I guess Kevin Grimm and, and Zinn are just being chased, or Kevin Grimm and Alcrab are being chased around by Zinn. So that's where we left off until everybody was captivated by this beautiful sight of uh, the Twinkling Island. Um, and that's where we'll resume as you all kind of at the, the, the prow of the ship will say, uh, just it's doing fine. You don't have to worry about it going off course or anything. Um, with you all just kind of staring at this, this, this Twinkling Island, um yeah grandma looks like he's he's captivated um i guess it's it's not a huge island it kind of is little more than you know the the temple um there it's it's somewhat high up from the staircase um and it's you know a little bit off but you'll probably be able to dock there it looks like it has like a kind of stone um I guess would it be outcropping or or inlets maybe is a better word uh, that you can park ships in uh, of decent size um, and walk up the stairs if you would like. Um, yeah, what is uh, what's everybody? Where where are we at with everybody? Does anybody want to uh, give me any sort of updates on their character, or should we just you know just say that everybody's staring at it as we kind of uh, ship in? I mean. Zin still wiping whatever the f what was it was soap or something that they put on him like he's just kind of it something was like it, it was shaving soap lather like so it was basically sh it's like all the older form of shaving cream yes cool yeah um so that's still on your face yeah yeah I'm I'm taking that off rapidly uh I am kind of looking out but I am very much like still annoyed um. Yeah, that's, I think that's the only thing I want to, to add. As he looks out, he's still mad. Um, I guess they both escaped his grasp, but like, I, I presume... You still have Captain Grimma's torso. He's just kind of marveling at this as like a head, um, uh, forearm and shin bone and foot kind of weird, like, um, <laughs> piston walking thing. Um, he's got his, his cruise soul key in one hand that's uh, slithering around along the ground like a snake. Um, and, um, yeah, he's just, he's just looking at all and has forgotten that you were trying to quote unquote kill him earlier. Um, I'm guessing this is the place where we're dropping this, me this little, this guy off. Finally. Extreme coincidence, if not, but probably. This is where the, uh, where the chart led us, so unless he gave me the wrong map, this is it. Cool. All right. Um, is there any kind of dock, did you say, Sean, or is it um, a pretty... You know, what, is there any development on this island? Or I forget. Not really besides the, the temple at the top. It, it looks like there's an inlet for, um, for ships that is like a kind of a crude dock. It's not like engineered though. So you could, you could sail in and it looks like the waters, it's kind of like a crescent um, or more of like a half circle, I should say, um, where you're, the, the stone around it will stop any of the oceans from battering the ship and you can kind of tie your ship somewhere and you should be fine. Um, Okay. And that's where the stairs start, yeah. All right, I'm going to send, uh, as we're sort of drawing in there, I'm going to send my, uh, I'm going to manifest my little sensor thing, my little floating phasing eye, and I'm going to send that off to do some scouting. All right. Uh, you can do that. Uh, you go up the stairs with the eye, and it is 
um immaculately cared for the the stones look like they're they're um carved uh marble um and it is just white marble with the lights kind of hitting off of the gems and this kind of blue light that um just covers the island um as you get to the top you see a uh gentleman in what looks to be kind of like a monk style robe um sitting on a bench uh throwing some uh what looks to be like seeds to birds like seagulls um peacefully just doing that as he's as he's uh also occasionally getting up and tending to a garden that's close by um that's about it though he's the only person i can see he's the only person you can see but there's also the doors to the 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 temple can i peek in there sure you can peek into the temple um you go inside and um it is just a long um kind of t-shaped temple with uh what seemed to be some kind of reflective pool sorry uh some kind of re reflective pools on either side uh with a bunch of pillars um and a few a bunch of crystals around um with what looks to just be like a kind of empty altar where there it, there was something there but it was taken away and is now just um completely empty where something of a large circular mass used to be um and that's pretty much all you can see i think with the eye the the eye okay. has a what like 60 120 foot range i forget it doesn't have any range just has a duration i think it's it moves okay. at 30 feet um i think going off memory i think it has a duration of one hour okay so I assume it'll like by the time where it'll probably take us an hour to actually get into the port. So I'm just going to send it off and just look around as we're doing that. Okay. So yeah, you you all do that, um, and it's it's I mean it's pretty peaceful. The man just keeps doing what uh, going back and forth between his duties there. Um, but he's and... the only person that I can find any evidence of on the island. Yeah, nobody else. It seems completely deserted otherwise. Okay. All right. The island's inhabited, but it seems by only one other man. Um, well, uh, doesn't seem to pose much of a threat, but uh, you can never really tell the matter. Weird. Hmm. Has this right. uh, has this man noticed us? Uh, no, he's he's performing his chores for the day. It looks like. Okay, so we're probably not going to get, like, invited on, so we should probably just... No, I don't think... I think, uh... Best case for that would be to go up to the monastery itself. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. I want to turn to Captain Grimm and be like, is this the place we're supposed to drop you off, or...? Uh, he's gonna look up and, and, um, he's going to... Uh, it's like, well, first, could I, uh, could I have my ribcage back? I look at him. I stare him down for a bit. I look back at the ribcage and go, fine. Try to give it to him. But it took a, it took a moment of like, like looking back, of voice in consideration. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, he starts to reassemble himself. She's like, I got to look proper if I want to do this. And he goes, Yes. There's no mistaking this place. Um, the Sapphire Isle, um, beautiful as it always was said. Cool. Let's just drop them off and then we can go. Well, if you would like, you can, but... Um, yeah, I would is... like to do that. <laughs> okay. okay. Um... <laughs> well, you're welcome to stay on your ship. I'm, I want to go and at least have a quick look around. I do think exploring would be fun. I can't waste too much time, though. We're on a ship. It won't. The time we'll have lost was negligible. That makes no sense. Slow travel time. It's still travel time. You don't mean we're spending that long. <laughs> Grandma's going to say, it, it'll be quick. It'll be quick, lad, I promise. And also... They do say that um, there is some wisdom to be gained from visiting the island for those who pass by, but uh, only if you believe the legends. I know maybe it might be a bit offensive to one of the church type. 
Hmm. Yeah. So you guys, you guys, um, you guys dock. Um, you can see that Captain Grimma looks a little bit nervous, um, and uh, he he's like, I I can't believe I finally made it. They say that this island can be teleporting around, and in general, I mean, the islands will move slightly due to the currents and a few other factors, just to making it impossible to to graph or or map the the whole Great Basin Ocean. But these this one especially can be seen from one end of the ocean to the other potentially. It's been a miracle that I found it. Uh, thank you all, but please let's let's go and meet the man and 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 hope it's it's still what my um my crew wanted it to be. Um, and he's gonna get ready to go down. I mean, let's since we didn't join the group because he was outnumbered, and I don't want to be alone. <laughs> <laughs> but um, he's going to do it like begrudgingly. Cause he's like, okay, we did our thing. Like, why do we have to loiter? Like, I just let's go, let's let's go to the to the thing that we have to go to. Like, let's get a moment. So he's gonna be a little bit. I mean, he's always a little bit like, mm. but yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, we know exactly. It's you know, since antisocial. Um, yeah. He jumps down. And he's gonna start walking up the stairs. Um. It's incredibly peaceful here. Um, the birds caw and the breeze kind of floats through the island in a lazy manner. It doesn't feel as harsh a whipping as, as you might have felt in the open sea. Um, Is it unna unnaturally peaceful? In a certain... It's unusually peaceful. It doesn't, it doesn't make you feel off-put, but it, it definitely does feel like it's not... Um, it's not something special about it is how i would put it mm, okay yeah uh, that makes Athen feel off but... do i have a little <laughs> bit of the weird hoodoo voodoo vibes does it send me any like good evil schmeevil no um i mean no i'm gonna say no it doesn't send you any crazy stuff and uh, for, neither for you al crap at well, the like, moment even subtle stuff nothing crazy just anything subtle no uh, there's no no evil or good that you can tell for the most part in fact it feels very neutral, um, almost unusually so. Um, as you get to the top, um, you can, Grimma makes his way um, to the top, first of all, um, and I'm, I'm assuming he's leading the pack, given he's the most excited. Um, as you get to the top, you are greeted by a man in simple monk robes uh, who is a white-haired orc um, who looks up at you all uh, and... Uh, just kind of, without any sort of fear or alarm, just kind of judges you each individually um, with with e an even gaze. Not like judges, like being a dick, like just like kind of assesses. Um, and says, welcome. It's been a while since I've had travelers to my island. Or I should say to this island. <laughs> Don't claim to own all these sapphires. Too much, too, too rich for my blood. Mm. I'm gonna let Grimma do the talking. He's the one that wants to be here. Yeah, Zin's just sitting in the back, arms crossed, looking moody as per usual. He is. Uh, there might be a little bit of shaving cream, but like on his like hands or like something. He's just kind of he's still it. flicking it off. Yeah, he's still flicking it off. Yeah, it was a lot. It was mean. It was so mean. Um, he says that uh, Grimma is gonna look at him. He's just like, uh, I apologize for my my appearance, but. But is this is this still the last church of the illuminated Lord? Um, I, I I came all this way and I've, I've spent so many centuries by myself and I've been I've been searching for this place. Please, um, and you can see that the the orc slowly raises his hand. He says, "I apologize, but um, this place I believe I know what you're talking about. Uh, it was built on top of." the church that you mentioned. It was that for a long time, but it serves a different master now for the moment. Who is the master? Well, uh, I guess it would depend on how you view it, but in general, this is a temple to, well, to put it plainly, death. Huh? Hmm. Not a god of death, not worshipping death as a virtue, but it is a temple to the concept of peace and being at rest. 
Oh. Same okay. thing from a certain point of view. Well, that explains why you weren't terrified of the skeleton filling up, I suppose. <laughs> That's a good point. I uh, I had forgotten those were unnatural to the, to a lot of others. Uh, you'd be surprised at how many will wash up on shipwrecks and and uh, will seek our services. It happens quite often, I'd say. Well, Our? for me. Our? It seems like it's only you here. Are there more of you? Well, I, it is. I am the only one of my order, and um, uh, I was raised here. There used to be more monks um, who were attending to it, but uh, as you can imagine, our our special location and uh, our not so glamorous, I guess you could say, religion, uh, it doesn't attract many new converts. Um, so, after everyone passed away, I was the last one left to my peaceful life here, and I don't like to think of it as mine or really have a sense of ownership, so I tend to say or, 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 sorry, I, I, I switched into grandma there for a second. Um, I tend to say our. Um, Fascinating. Well, there might be another one here, okay? This, uh, skeleton. You wanna this 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 is the place you wanted, right? We could just like leave you here. You guys can be buddies. We can get going. We can get to the conference. Like, I'm, well, you know? this isn't really the place you wanted. Well, the place no, you wanted the doesn't exist place. anymore. Yeah, that's true. This is the closest thing he's gonna get. Uh, he's dead. His shipmates are dead. That little lord. This seems perfect. He can make a friend here. Easy, right? Perfect. <laughs> Uh, the priest is going to get up and says, oh, please, I forgot to um, introduce myself. Um, my name is Ama. I am the caretaker of this island, as I mentioned before. But uh, please, like I said with the or speech, if you would like anything, I have some fresh zucchini growing. Um, their sprouts are very nice. Um, if you would like to take a tour of the church, you might, you may as well. Uh, everything here is, is yours is to take. Um, if you would like, I can talk to your friend here who seems to be going through a bit of a difficult time. You guys can see that Grimma is, is kind of like just going through a little bit of shock and thinking, he's like, I, for, for centuries, I. Centuries is a long time. I, I'm pretty sure. So, uh. <laughs> Somewhat. I like how both say. churches like that, they kind of fade away. He's like, here. He looks over. By the way, what are what are all your names? But uh, Alma is going to ask that. I am Adam. Pleased to make your acquaintance. My name's uh, Al Karab. I'm <clears throat> I'm Zin, one of the um, seven Asmars, and paladin oh, well. of the illuminated heart of the Church of Purity. Ah, well, it is an honor to meet you all. Um, you, you must have come a long way to be here, so I appreciate you, you gracing our island, and, um, if there's anything I can do, let me know. I, I understand that maybe another religion, I've heard a bit about the Church of Purity, I've not heard a ton, though. Uh, I've heard they're quite big, you know, uh, maybe they have a couple churches bigger than this. Um. More than a couple. <laughs> mm. Well, you have to forgive me. I don't get out much, so I hope I appreciate a representative of your church coming to pay a visit. Um, if you would like, I can, if with your permission, um, I could maybe take your your friend here on a tour of our church real quick and explain to him what happened to maybe help process everything that's going on right now. Hmm. Go ahead. Here's the decision. Grimm's going to say, I, I, I think... At the very least, maybe something will will spark something in me when I go through here. Um, well, if your goal is to, you know, put your your uh, crewmates' souls to rest, then surely this isn't the worst place to do so. No, you're right. This 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 is as good a place as any, I think. Um, but I think I owe it to them to at least look around, and I'll I'll make sure this is proper for them. They, they they deserve that much, at least. I was responsible for them, and that's what a leader does. He looks out for his people first and foremost. Um, Grim is going to 
go inside with Ama and um, uh, Ama's going to look back and say, well, if you would all like, uh, you can join me. Or if you want, the seagulls today are quite friendly, especially if you had so have some seeds for them. Um, also, our garden is, is quite world renowned, he says, after he there's like three raised beds uh, on the on the side there. Uh, if you would like to take a look at those. Um, I think I, I, I kind of fancy joining the, the tour. Of course, all are welcome. I'm going to look to Atham for his answer. I'm not really a bird guy. Let's go with the tour. <laughs> uh, I so... follow the group. Because I don't, I don't feel like being alone on a weird other church island. Those are not one to death. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't fuck with that. Um, um, so there, he's going to take you inside, and he leads you onto this. There's a beautiful white and blue um, interior designed, like kind of. There's they're similar to Byzantine mosaics. Um, they kind of look like sea stone, like smooth and bright. Uh, on the floor that makes up um, the tiled floor. Um, and like uh, Atham's eye saw, there is pools after pool after pool and rectangular, um, I guess, containers or pools to be a little redundant, uh, along with columns interspersed between, uh, all leading to kind of this center um, empty, I guess, what do I call it? Empty, um, not pillar, uh, empty altar, uh, where something used to be. Um, and, uh, I'm just going to gesture to each of the pools. Basically, it's quite simple here. Um, we don't really have any sort of worship. We don't have any, uh, doctrine or anything like that. Um, we try not to impress anything on others. For the most part, it is just that each of these pools is meant to represent reflection. Um, and as you pass them, if you are said to stare deep in them, they will show you important scenes from your life or just show you yourself and let you think on it as you make your way towards the final resting place to, to let you think on your life before uh, you make that decision. If you look in the pools, does it mean you're going to die shortly after? In uh, 80 to 100 years, probably. <laughs> Yes, I, I, exactly. Uh, as we all say, you know, we like to make those kind of jokes around you. And that's why it's scary. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, no, Athens brow is furrowed at all this. He's, he's not having a good time. I, I am, am I picking up any weird hoodoo voodoo? Please, my sensors are going. I have these sensors. I don't like this. Well, regardless of your personal opinion, there is no black magic or uh, light magic, or I guess good magic. Um, to 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 really detect upon. Uh, I mean, would anybody like to take? He's going to say at the moment it's if. But to answer your question seriously, sir, um, looking in the pools is not some sort of magic ritual. It's it's more of a symbolic thing. Um, some are said to see them, but I've passed these pools all my life, and I've never really seen a special scene play out or whatnot. Maybe that means my time isn't soon, or maybe that just means that um, I don't have the attunement for it. Or it could simply just be that people see what they want to see when they're close to these kind of things. I really want to just look at it, but it's heretical and... Just walk. Well, I'm going to look in the pool. <laughs> or a pool. Give me, give me a religion or arcana check. Uh, that's a fourteen. Yeah, why not? Uh, I'll look in the death pool. <laughs> um, you're gonna look into the pool, and I will say that. Um, do you think that Alcarab has any specific scene on his mind that he wants to reflect on, or do you think that he's willing to just let whatever? may come come i think you just i i don't think there's anything he's particularly set on reflecting on i think mm -hmm. he's willing to just see whatever is there you see a scene of many people arguing in what looks to be some kind of court or or um almost judge like courtroom um or like a court at uh you know royalty court um 
and you see a bunch of kind of shadowy figures arguing and and gesticulating wildly um and you can see a younger Alcarab kind of turn away from all of these arguing figures and start to make his way out into the world um as his home go gets farther and farther away from him Alcarab's probably not he's just like gonna he's gonna watch uh contemplatively and that's the scene that plays in the pool for the moment it's 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 it doesn't suck you in it doesn't start to make your eyes glaze over it just plays for you and you alone um and it's almost not there it's like a mirage um and it doesn't seem to point accusingly it just just shows you this scene without any sort of pomp or 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 fanfare and um that's so the first scene you see evil? that's for you to say um you see grandma is looking in the different pools and he kind of starts to have a saddened look on his face um but it starts to get replaced with um smiles and laughter for a couple times as he slowly starts to think more and more and he goes from pool to pool he thinks <laughs> I remember that party. Johnny Johnny drank so many pints that he Oh my god, we had to spend an entire day chasing. We got hooked onto this this crab whale and <laughs> uh that was that was so many years ago. I think that's when I was my happiest when I was with them out in the sea before all this started just before I started searching for that damned pillar. Hmm. Well, I can appreciate your pools, priest, but uh, I do wish they had a little bit um, more clarity. I've seen paintings, impressionist paintings, with more, uh, with more detail. Uh, I really want to look at a pool, but I know I shouldn't. <laughs> I'm, it's, I'm, like, I'm... it's like having like this kind of like... Like, like, he, like, he's young, like, a, like, a little bit of curiosity, but he knows he shouldn't. He also almost wants to prove that the pools don't work, like, the frick, this, mm -hmm. this other religion. So he might just take a, take a little peek, because Algarab did get murdered. Do you want to take a peek? I take a little, little peek. <laughs> and you're like, doing it with the the intent to prove that it's it doesn't work, right? Well, yeah, that, but I'm also, he's just a little curious. Hmm. He kind of is like, oh, what you telling? Hmm. Well, tell he you what, like roll, roll me an Arcana religion check, and if you think, whichever, it, roll with advantage if he's curious more than he's wanting to disprove, or roll with disadvantage if he's more wanting to disprove than curious. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. I'll let you decide your character's emotion. Okay. That is... Oh, I rolled well. Um, 22. So yeah, I did it with advantage, because I think a little bit of it is more curious than... Hmm. And same thing, question I asked Alcrab to you. Is there any scene that is on his mind to reflect on that he is thinking about when he wants to see one, or do you think he's just open to whatever scene will present itself? Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe the maybe the latter, because I I want to force you to to make a scene for me. You want to force me? Okay. Because well, I mean, I mean, we all know he's thinking a little bit about someone, but also kind of the mm -hmm. church, but yeah. Well. All three are represented, or I guess both. I should not say all three. Um, you see one of the days that you mentioned where it was you and Ulrin um, reading by a fire just silently next to each other um, without speaking a word with a fire in place and it's raining out. Um, and um, silently, you see that a door is open behind you, and it's Cyril who's coming in to complain to Ulrin about his his books getting wet in the rain. Um, and 
he, he's you know you can kind of see that there's a silent uh scene play out where you all are just talking in one of these cozy very rare days where it's just you guys being who you are rather than being trained to be zealots mm. so cute <laughs> yeah well enough of that cute shit um so uh, awesome. Yeah, well, that's not what this session about. This session about is about death, sad <laughs> stuff. Mm. Oh, Speaking of, what do I say? Do you look into one of the pools? I said I did. Yeah, uh, I rolled okay. up seventeen plus thirteen. I got a thirty. Ah, well. With that being said, then do you is Atham? If Atham's looking at it with with complete disgust, uh, then. In no scene will actually play for the moment. These scenes, it seems that for whatever they are, they're not, they're not, they don't work on their own. They, they completely um, just kind of ripple for a second and then they stop. Mm -hmm. um, because, I mean, if, if, if Adam is looking to, to, to disprove them, then he's going to be proven right. No, he's not looking to disprove them. He fully believes, he fully knows they work. He's like, he doesn't discredit the existence of spiritual energy because, like, we've got fucking guns yeah, around here. You just here. said that he was being, he was, like, doing it. Yeah, no, he's things. angry. Yeah. He's upset. <laughs> ah, I see. So he's yeah. still. Yeah, Do you no, that's fine. If it's fine, it doesn't work, but it's not because he doesn't believe them. If that's the case, then yeah, sure. What um, is there? Again, same question to you. Is there any scene that he's thinking about in particular, or just anything in general? I, I mean, I could say some like a scene thinking in particular, but I'm I, 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 I'm liking this trend of you coming up with scenes for us. So uh, go ahead. You guys, go ahead, suck, ass. 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 You you guys suck ass. Wait so, until uh, I look into every other job, pool and you make you describe every other scene. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, be careful. I'll warn you right now, Will, though, that these guys don't always separate what they know in person from what in character. So be careful what you, what you say. About? You know what I'm talking about. You freaking no, don't know. Really no, it's Cameron who's bad. I'm really good <laughs> at doing that. <laughs> what? Oh my God, Cameron doesn't dictate what he knows as Cameron versus oh what he my God. knows as Atha because he knows everything as Atha. I guess that is a good point, but... I... Uh, I since... I, oh, I put like, into the dub. I'm I'm just messing with you. Don't throw every don't throw everybody into the bus as soon as it's it's convenient. If I ever go, if I ever been organized crime, I'm not taking you guys with me just because as soon as like the police show up, you're gonna be like, it was Sean in the in the library with the candles. I want give me give me immunity right now. It's like we haven't we haven't even like offered you the plea deal yet. You just said that for free. <laughs> God. Sean in the library with the candlestick. It's like the game. It's like, yeah, it's like we didn't even know that there was someone murdered yet, you asshole. Yeah. Um, well, for going back to Atham, it's going to be... Um, let me think about this. Let me, let me roll something. I would say recently, thinking of everything, it'll... It'll kind of go speed like a like a um, a quick reel highlight reel maybe because there's a lot to get through. Uh, it's going to show you um, feeling uh, thing things related to to family where it it you remember kind of that tribal setting with your first family and your wife and your first kids um, in some kind of makeshift tent that is or not makeshift but like regal and royal tents but something along the lines of a uh, 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 you know the the big yurt for the uh, the khan rather than just you know some kind of uh, a bunch of animal skins put on one another um mm -hmm. and that's going to flash to a night where you and and uh, kushim are drinking some kind of uh, very how should we say crudely distilled uh, uh, maybe even fermented goat milk or something like that whatever you think the tribe would drink um and uh of you guys debating something before uh he he says goodnight and goes off into the darkness and disappears um fast flashing forward to a scene of um uh, you discovering a carriage um destroyed on the side of a road with um the parents already dead um and uh seeing a young boy who needs your help uh um, and it's it's gonna keep switching between scenes like that very rapidly, like it, it's just like like a like what a movie reel, just going and going and going and going. Mm -hmm. um, 
and that's what you see. Um, Ama is going to, after Grima seems to have done most of what he wants to do, um, or at least reflecting wise, uh, he's going to say, for the most part, we've left the altar blank because we don't consider this to be a shrine to one type of death or one religion's death or anything, or there to be a, a deity of death per se. So we thought it would be nice and represented to have something be empty rather than worship something that is supposed to exist you know death being the absence of life rather than being something all its own with that being said if you would like there we do have some some this church was built or this this altar was built on top of the previous illuminated lord church um if you would like to at least see what's left of it maybe there we could kind of give your respects to your friends uh that you're carrying he gestures to the soul key and um, we do have something to help you pass on down there, if you would like. Grima says, I think after all these years, I think I'd like that. Um, and uh, he gestures to a kind of like curving hallway. Um, and he starts to lead Grima down. Uh, cool. I'm not going down there. I don't want I'm to interested. Go to place, I'm going to go I down. Don't want to go to yeah, place cool. where he says he lets them go to rest. I want to like follow them, but I feel like I don't want to like intrude on whatever's going on down there. Mm. Well, for the most part, he doesn't. Um, he hasn't seen a, or he he hasn't said that it's going to be immediate upon getting down there. So, it, from what he said, there's going to be other stuff. Um, Zen, you can stay up there in the reflecting pool. It's very. Oh, but now Peaceful. I'm curious, but also, I don't, I don't know. But actually, yeah, no, I'll stay up by the, by the pools. I'll kind of wander around them, but... Um, I'll do the archaeological think. excavation. <laughs> I'm going to go down. You can see that um, when you guys arrive down there, there, there seems to be a old, like, inner chamber um, where there was a kind of more traditional style church with pews and whatnot and um some mosaics um and um you will notice atham that there do does seem to be a lot of mosaics of of different figures um of lightning and sun um just kind of around that uh everything is in disrepair and has been out of use for hundreds of years at this point I don't the, the sun thing the sun symbols don't look that familiar do they no they don't look that familiar they seem to have been Good. something something seems to be wrong with them there might have been if you I tell you what roll me roll me an archaeological or history investigation whatever history. you want to sure I'll roll history uh oops no I added them together um uh dirty 20 so with that being said, then um, you look around and you do see that these bear markings of different um, religious um, kind of trends that have died out over the centuries. These are like probably around the end of the second age of, um, of unification um, when uh, around similar to when um, a little bit before the pillar started, probably the pillar race. Um, okay, and you you can see some markings um around that you would like that are in older languages that at this point nobody else would be able to read if you would like. Yes, let's give them a read. Um, you kind of flip through some of the the old like there's some like stone tablets that have been made into just a kind of binder uh, at the um at the forefront at the pulpit. Um, and you can kind of read that there's some doctrine talking about an illuminated Lord of the Sun, um, but there also seems to be references to uh, different Rodian creation myths, um, and um, a few undying lords and things like that. Uh, and you could tell based on your your um, your history that there seems to be some influence from a certain northern Templon religion but very minor, and it seems like only a few escaped, and this has become a completely different thing. Like, it melded with with a few others in, in the course of the Great Basin Ocean oh. kind of being a melting pot. 
Um, well, hopefully it's different enough at this point. I don't feel any difference. So. The, the, this would have been, yeah, like 500 years of mixing and matching at least uh, from that time. And then it, it seems to be more based in a Rodian um, creation myth about the, the uh, first Lord that um, had to banish darkness, but wasn't necessarily associated with the sun. So it was kind of one of those things where um, it's like one of those uh, ancient kind of antiquity uh, religions where it's like, oh, this guy seems similar to what we think is this god, so it must be that god, right? Like that kind of a thing. Jupiter and Zeus sort of the deal. Oh, oh, yes. Yes, exactly. So, like, people people were thinking that these gods could would conflate two different gods and kind of absorb different parts of them from other cultures. Okay. Um, so, that one, that one is interesting, though, that there does seem to be a slightly similar Rodian uh, legend, but that's about it. This Ama is going to look around as Grimma is kind of picking through, um, and uh, Grimma is going to mention, she's like, strange to think that this religion died here, um, this was the last church for them, I believe, and I don't know why in Templon there was such discrimination against it, but it only seemed to be uh, find a place out in the Basin Ocean. It was popular among the sailors for a while. But I never believed in it personally. It's just when my crew was close to death, they needed something to reach out for, and I think this was it. But... I think that bringing them here was a worthy enough pilgrimage. He looks over at Amon and says, "I think, I think it would—it's a good time to to take a look at what you were talking about." Um. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, well, Captain, I believe you are a captain by your hat. Uh, Krim goes, "Yes, yes, I am a uh, captain of all but this," and he holds up the soul key. Um. There is something that I don't think you or your crew would have to worry about with that. Um, and uh, let me take you to it right now. Uh, he leads you guys deeper into the catacombs, and uh, you go into this crystalline chamber uh, of blue sapphire uh, covering the different walls. And he says, this is a room that we nickname the confessional. Um, in general, the reason we call it that is because it is a place where no gods can reach. And, um, actually... Um, sapphires, huh? Well, the island is a bit special, but sapphires have been, have some legends mm -hmm. about being anti-deity, I guess, or more of just associated with death, whatever you want to interpret it as. We never looked too far into it. But, um, the crystal runs across the chamber, and, um, Alcrab, you do feel that your magic is diminished here um you can no longer feel the call of the stars and um it does feel quiet um here for everybody atham you don't seem to be as affected as much um no, but atham uh, feels great in here but he feels like a weight slipped off his shoulders when he's in here <laughs> um alma is going to say that uh he's going to look over at grim and he's going to say what we what this per the purpose of this chamber at least in our order is that anyone who comes here guided by a priest or if they would like alone um is able to switch any religion or um allegiance whatever they would like or simply confess certain sins without having to look um or how, how, without having to feel under the scrutiny of of anybody uh, above or below and if you would like you could just talk to your crew in a way and and go on your own terms. You could stay with the Illuminated Lord if you think that there's still somebody listening, even though there's no more churches. But it is all what you decide, my friend. Here is supposed to be a place where one can make peace with their end and decide to go out on their own terms. Uh, he's going to put his hand on Grimma's shoulder and he's going to say, let me take you into one final chamber here. And he shows you guys around the corner, and there is a little. There's a seat um, carved out of stone um, that is opposite a what looks to be a darkened stairwell. Um, and he says that this place is a place for final contemplation, and to be sure, that staircase is special. 
if you walk down it, you will be released no matter what powers or enchantments are on you, and you will be f let go into whatever other plane awaits you next, or nothing, if that's what you believe. Uh, a couple stipulations. It does have to be entered into willingly, completely. There can be no compulsion or coercion uh, to push someone down there. And if you do walk down there without a wish to be let go, it will not let you at a certain point. You will just find yourself walking back up the staircase at some point. Um, but if you would like, it is, it is, you are allowed to be able to sit here and just think about your end, and if this is what you really want. You are allowed to be alone in here. Grima is going to look at uh, his um, soul key a little bit, um, and he's going to think for a second. Um, he's gonna say, I'd like to think a little bit. Um, He's gonna sit down in the chair and he's, he would ask, if, if I could just have a moment alone, lads, I need to talk to my crew. I'm just gonna turn around and head back to the main chamber. Mm -hmm. Hulkarab's probably been like, standing about as far away as is an openly rude anyway. He doesn't really like it down here. So he's gonna gladly skip out of the room. <laughs> Is he like actually skipping? I no, like, no. I think it'd be way funnier if he was actually skipping. That's something you would do, but not probably not up around. He might be like, "Who wants to die, a loser?" Situation. Not me. I didn't even go down because I'm big brain. See, I, I'm so smart. Losing mm -hmm. religious powers. Yeah, <laughs> no. Um. So. Ama is going to lead uh, Alcarab back up. Atham, I'm assuming you're staying down in the chamber. I'm staying there. He is, Atham is furiously looking around the room, just studying everything. Just, he's got a notepad open, jotting stuff down. Um, he is reaching out with psionics, feeling the air around him. He is incredibly excited. <laughs> you're on that nerd shit. You're um, on that nerd shit. You're on that nerd shit. All right. Well, um, Ama and, and Alcarab are going to go out. Um, Zin, you do see them exit the chamber. Um, did you say you're going down? No, 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 no. I'm just, I'm just chilling by the pools. I'm kind of just wandering around, like, taking a little peek here and there. Just, like, kind of bored. I just don't trust the voodoo voodoo. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess I could go down, but, uh, I don't know. Afraid of character development cave? <laughs> no, it's a character development cave. I'm scared of I'm scared of losing my religious powers and dying type cave. You're not an you're not an animated corpse. You're not going to die <laughs> if you step in the cave. You're it, that only works if I mean it's funny that this came up in Scarth one recently. But no, yeah, you're not a it, just because you're you're a religious Azimar doesn't mean you're going to die as soon as you walk in. You might be diminished and cut off, but that's about yeah, it. That's that's freaky to me. Also, even the animated corpse corpse didn't die in that cave. Yeah, he he had a bit of a different relationship because the ones that were dying in Scarthorn were animated by a lich, therefore lost their connection mm -hmm. to him. He's a little, it's like a self self propel. He's like the Energizer Bunny. Also, to be fair, Zin does not know that it would be diminishing. Yeah, I know that. I know that, but I don't. He still doesn't know that it's like. The voodoo, voodoo, voodoo vibes, but he may, maybe, maybe. I feel like he, he would need convincing. Mm -hmm. Well, be um, like, hey, this is really cool. I, I mean, <laughs> there's a bunch of cool weapons down there. And he goes, uh, there are actually, I mean, there are some leftover tokens that Atham would see down in there. There's a few weapon uh, armor, books, things like that, but it seems to be kind of like tributes to people before they were passing on. It wasn't okay. like a armored chamber. Um, if if they come back and they're not dead, that's a little bit promising. What's Atham doing? He's still yeah. down there taking notes. He's maniacally he's... looking around the room. He is, is so excited. What a freaking nerd, bro. Uh, 
Well, while Atham and Zinn are, are figuring that out, Alcarab, Alma is going to take you to the garden and sit down. Um, and um, he's going to say, if you would like, I, I'm going to let those guys um, have a, a, a moment to contemplate. Not like they can do much damage down there. Um, glows. <laughs> Starts glowing uh, aggressively. Um, if you would like, you can sit with me and feed the birds, or you could um, go back to the contemplation pools, as I sometimes call them. Um, I do always like to hear stories, if you've got any. I'm somewhat dull on the island occasionally. I... Well, I have stories, although I, I wouldn't say I'm great at telling them. At the very least, um, you've got the most uh, naive audience in the world, so I wouldn't know if you told it badly to tell the truth. Fair enough. Um, oh god, now I've got to tell a story. <laughs> you don't actually have... Well, tell me what, why don't while you're thinking about that, um, Atham, you're going to see <laughs> Captain Grimma come up from uh, the the chamber, um, no longer holding the soul key, um, the orb of his his crewmates. Um, he's going to say, "Well, I have to say that feels a little anticlimactic uh, after all those those years searching." But I think the lad, that's what the lads wanted. Oh, good, great, good for you. Uh, where are you doing now? I'm uh, I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. I'll I'll leave you be then. He's gonna go back up. Um, oh, get Zin down here. I want to test something. I'll let him know you're looking for him. Um, he's going to um, walk out and up past the thing. Um, he's going to see you Zin still at the pools, and he's going to say, "That's <laughs> that lad." seems to have uh, got found something. So he's like a dog with a bone down there. Uh, he did say he wanted to see you. Um, if you don't mind. I mean, it seems that everybody seems to like that cavern more than, more than Captain Grimma. In the uh, sense that I, I felt... It, it's a bit... After all these years, it's a bit odd seeing the, the end. But I hope that uh, you find it as exciting as he does, apparently. Um... Uh, well, I mean, it's kind of like, he got bored after a bit. <laughs> he was kind of just chilling. He was like, this is boring. He just wants to go. Maybe he can convince Adam to, like, a simple evil already. No, you're, not gonna, like, you're not going to be able to convince him to leave until, uh, or, you know, Grimm is going to notice you're bored. He's going to say, if you want to get out of here faster, you might want to have to, you might, gonna, you might have to pull him off the, the sapphires down there. He seems quite excited by them. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, you sh sure I Okay. No one died. I think it's quite safe. I don't think you're in any danger. Okay. Fine, I'll go. And he, he, he goes down. Fine, he goes down. He does it. Well, we're going to see Alcarab. As you're trying to think of a story to tell um, Ama, um, Captain Grimm is going to come up and... Uh, uh, interrupt whatever that is, and he's going to be, he's going to say, um, Mr. Ama or Sir Ama, however you pronounce it, just Ama is fine. Uh, would you mind giving us a moment alone if that's okay? Um, and Ama's going, of course, I understand completely. I'll just uh, take a walk around the island. I will warn that don't speak too loudly because uh, the island's not that big. So if it's private, I might hear you on the other side if you're too loud. Um, makes sense. Um, and Captain Grimm is going to take Amos' seat on the bench. Um, yeah, and then, Zen, we see you go down to the chamber with, with Ath. Uh, yeah, um. So I walk down, do I feel anything immediately, or do I just see Ath being a nerd? As you walk in, you walk through the thing, you see the old church that's fallen into disrepair that somewhat reminds you of what looks to be kind of like a church of purity one that's a bit ominous. Uh, but as you go deeper and you find the glittering sapphire chamber, um, you're able to see that Atham is going from, I guess, thing to thing, taking notes furiously. Um, 
as you step inside, you're able to to kind of notice him. Uh, kind of, you, you're able to feel that stillness that's on the island get amplified by like a hundred, um, and you feel calm. I do. I don't mm-hmm. feel empty. Not at the moment. No, it takes okay. a second, but you you feel calm for the moment. Um, <clears throat> Atham, are you done looking at rocks? Yeah, look at this. He grab, Atham grabs a rock off the ground and drops it. And it falls to the ground. It kicks one. It skids across the ground. It, fucking gravity works in here. Friction works. The air is breathable. I'm not exploding. <laughs> Uh, yeah. You're not exploding either. It's incredible. I mean, I don't tend to explode much. No, no, no. Okay, all right. I, we, we, try and try and use some of your divine magic in here. You'll you'll get my point pretty quick. Why? Do it. You'll see. Uh, I go to summon my chain. Um, you're able to to bring the chain out, but it is no longer on fire. It just kind of flops like a normal chain. There's no what? gods here. What? Nothing. Nothing divine. It's all normal. So it's getting a little shaken up. He doesn't like this. <laughs> gravity still works. Oh, there's no fucking god of gravity fucking with me. Friction works. Space works. You're just Time saying works. works. You're just saying words. I think he's losing his mind, and Zid doesn't know who he's talking to, but he's like breaking the fourth <laughs> wall. Like I, I think he's uh, there's something with these rocks, like losing his his mind. Uh, anyway, that's 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 uh, that's creepy. Um, well, yes, for you certainly. Um, but more specifically, um. We just found the secret to saving the universe on a fucking island with a bunch of depressed monks. <laughs> so only, monks accidentally only... into saving the universe. There's, there's, uh, there's only one depressed monk, first of all. Yeah, there were more. They all died. Um. Yeah. Uh. Cool. Um. I, I don't know. I don't know about this. Uh, it's... Is this why you want me to come down here? Because I. Can... I well. More specifically, like... to just test the theory fully, um, can you, uh, can you feel Lixius with you? Did you just say that to my face? Go, oh, God's here. Can you feel him? How the f- has Adam ever said that to my face before? He said it a couple times. Well, he said once. He said it once before he's mentioned the passenger, quote unquote, like two or three times. He never times. said the word though. He never said the name though, I believe so. No. No. Okay, I think he said angel then at one point, but that's about it. Yeah, I, I have said, said angel, yes. I haven't said it. Like angel, but he never said the name, which is kind of a... Uh... I, I mean, Zid's kind of confused how he freaking knows the name. Well, I heard the giant demon and also I got whispered to me by Walt uh that thing that invaded your head a while back uh shadow guy he, he was he, he was saying a few things and he thought, actually I yeah anyways not that important let's just say it's from a big demon I think it is a little bit important what uh, what do you just am like I, stooping around am I like stooping around I can't go inside your head We've established this. Uh, then what were you doing with the silly little swirly man? Kicking him out. I don't know how he got in your head, but whatever he did opened the way in, and I went in and kicked him out. Anyways, that's less important. Can you feel Lixius in here? I go to see if I can hear anything. I I haven't been concentrating. I feel like Zin's actually kind of freaking out a little bit. Like, do you want to do is... a wisdom saving throw? Yes. All right, do a place to say anything. Uh, he's he's a uh, he's not he's eighteen. I'm gonna say you pass. You're having a bit of a, a panic attack, but you're 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 able to put it under control. You're still thinking yeah. rationally. You're like a little little. <sighs> okay, yeah. let me think back through it. Let's think through he... it. Come on, yeah. Yeah, he's he's like he's like jittery and like he, this is weird. This is weird. Um, he doesn't like this at first. Like, he genuinely feels like 
the more he listens or tries to hear something, he feels like emptier, like something's missing. Um, mm, I get it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, he's a uh, he's a little spooked by this. Uh, uh, I I think he's gonna concentrate really hard, trying to see if he hears anything. And sometimes this thing is like annoying, but some like right now he just really wants to hear it. He wants to like because he's like I don't know. The one thing he's really had is his powers, and that's like his whole thing. As is very much a big hit on his ego and his own self sense of self. So. Yeah, I'm guessing he doesn't hear anything. Just kind of a white noise, yeah. Oh, it's like that feel. I feel like it's like that feeling of like the ringing in your ear, but it's like really loud. It's like getting really loud. Like it's like this constant ringing in the back of his head, like a, like a, the white noise sort of thing. Exactly. Yeah. Uh. Okay. No. 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 What? Okay. <laughs> the theory. It's right. My heart foundational to reality. Yay! If God can do it! Do what? Oh, uh, well, this world, this room here exists without the gods. Um... We don't need them to prop up reality. Because they don't prop up reality, they just fucking infest it! And Adam's space sort of contorts for a second. What? Zinz takes a step back. He's like a little freaked out by this, and he has no powers. I don't know why you're that upset. Most of you hate most of the gods, too. They're not really gods. They don't count. I agree. They don't deserve to be called gods. Just only just, you know, like, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, <laughs> It makes no sense. I mean, the angels are all powerful. Like, this doesn't... How could some stupid rocks have any effect? It makes no sense. I know. It, well, it should be... Yes, that part doesn't really make any sense. Hence why I'm trying to take all these notes. I don't know. There's some... What are your intentions with these notes, anyways? With the what, sorry? What, what are your intentions with these notes, with these rocks? You know, these well, I mean, like... I want to find out how this is possible. I mean, we can create a world where demons can't appear here, Zin. But nothing. Z demons can't appear here. And I'm, I'm gonna. I'm, I can use still my, use my powers, right? Depend. What do you want to use specifically? It, it, it will depend. Well, I'm just doing a little bit of flashing of light. That's I'm not fine, trying to yeah. go into the astral or anything. I'm assuming the astral is fully cut off right now. That one, and and if you try and do anything aggressive, that gets stopped immediately as well. Yeah. I assume that's the properties of a room, not... Yeah. Um, although what kind of magic is stopping that from happening? Very interesting. Um, but magic still works. Oh my gods don't are the source of magic either. I mean, granted, my magic is fucking weird, but... Um, I think you're weird. Yeah. But you're weird too. I mean, you're, a de you're an angel that entered into the material world with another angel stuck in your head. Bit weird. A little insulted? Uh... What? I didn't insult you. So then, uh, you called me weird. You called me weird. Well, you're the weird one. I'm not the weird one. I'm... I got... I am a... I am... You grow uh, wings! Yeah, I'm an SMR. You're a weird dude. I'm a guy that has magic powers. This is just as weird as you. Can we you say something about centuries, about long time? Like, how, that's, that's weirder. That is weird, yes. No, that's true. And I still don't really have a good handle on that. But that is, uh, I, I gave I up on like that. I feel like I'm less of the weird one. I need to know I'm the freaking like, the, I am I am the angels on this, this planet. I am the connection to the very gods. Like, that's my... My fellow Asmar is like the same thing. We've been here for centuries. This has been me. You're the one who's been here for centuries. That's weird. I'm not weird. You're okay. Mm. Mm. Let's chalk it up to point of view. Um... So why did you want me down here again and tested your theory? Can we go? Uh, more or less. Um... Ugh. Um... 
All right. You know what? Fuck it. What do you know about the angels? What? Just in general, what do you know about them? <sighs> They're, you know, the, the high, the high angels. They, they protect all of Tier C. They, they, they look after everyone. They protect all of Tier C under. That's part of the church. Did you not ask for my answer or not? I did. Sorry, my bad. Continue. Continue. Uh, <laughs> I interrupt you again? <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> well, okay. There's the. Um, no, there's the, the seven high angels. Uh, there, you know, the divine rulers of all of DRC. It's the are here to protect. Uh, the world from evil, from the demons. We're here to eradicate them in their name, and protect and cleanse the good of the world. Like, duh. Right. Um, I think you and I mostly agree on the extermination of all demons, at least demon invaders. Um, which, by extension, I believe, would mean anyone who consorts with a demon is... Foul. Impure. Right? Impure. Yeah. Impure. Hence the name. Anyone who makes a deal or, say, a treaty with them. Impure. Any tarnishing by a demon to a... any hu any mortal being or any being whatsoever is... Is there a chair here? I think they're just rocks. Oh, uh, well, I mean, like, yeah, if you want to sit down, there's a few, like, wooden chairs that seem to have been left by the, as mementos, so you could use those. Um, yeah, I'm, uh... And there's a few stone Zin's benches Zin's as well. You can use... There's Zin's some stone Zin's benches. Then standing close to one, right? Uh, yeah, sure. Cool. Um, I'm going to produce a mental image of the... Oh, it's been a while, and I can't check my notes. Uh, the thing that that Jens gave me about the Angel Demon Treaty. Um, yeah, I mean, you can just kind of project the conversation into his head, into, yeah, his head, if you want. Yeah, all right. Jens found this, and I believe, if you remember at the Searing Ceremony, the demon mentioned that Lixius had broken a promise. So it's going to take a second, if you'd like. What is your intention with showing me this? Hmm? Well, based on both our, our understandings of demons, I think that maybe I, you should know more about this than I do, but I can't trust the angels because of this. Because, because of what? Because a demon spouted the they, 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 they created the seals with the demons together. <laughs> you're, you're speaking nonsense. I've showed you. We, I'm going to pull up. I'm going to pull up. The seals uh, are to keep demons at bay. Yes, and one walked through it like nothing today. Uh, not today, a few weeks ago. Just because a week ago, a couple days ago. Don't we have to do ceremonies for a reason? That, but that shouldn't, like, okay, yes, it happened during the ceremony, but the seal itself wasn't weakened. We have to do the weekend. ceremony. Okay, well, there's been people weakening it. Why do you, we have to do the sealing ceremonies for a then reason. Then why weren't there demon invasions everywhere in the city? Why only did it come through the seal? Because we had... Besides, we have found, I... Yeah. They made them to. And I, I, for Sean, can you help me out with the actual details here? But the uh, the thing I need, I need, I need Braden on speed dial for that fucking diagram he showed me. Um, uh, what, the, what exactly? The, I mean, the, the one about the angel and demons creating the treaty uh, to make the seals to stop Waldo's faction. I mean, that's that's basically as far as you can tell around. Pretty soon after the first war for the abyss, yeah, um, there was there the seals started popping up, 
and humans humans are not humans Mor mortal kind for the most part had some kind of hand in it and they uh, for most part took credit but in reality w there seems to have been a treaty around the same time for the seals to be made as a kind of um what's the word like a demilitarized oh, and non-aggressive mm -hmm. pact kind of put into one saying like tier c is off limits to to anyone and we're not gonna let any of waldo's faction in either like that's kind of how it was like some that weird shit sound like a fucking lead balloon yeah all right so does that answer your question or do you need more no that's about what i wanted okay but you should have like if, if, if they if they had a good reason for it you should know it please tell me it reason for working with the demons the angels would never work with the demons. They did. I don't How know. Do you... I don't. I, I, I'm showing you the thing. I'm projecting the conversation. I remember. Well, me, and, me and Yen's talking about the. Um... Uh, okay. I. I mean, so you're, you're you're telling me. You're telling me that the angels and the demons made a promise regarding the seals. Why would that ever happen? Why are you asking me this? I mean, because I don't you have, any have an angel in your head. You think the angels would say, do, I mean, the angels would tell me if this was a thing, but they didn't. They didn't, they don't, why did there's they? no, what, I don't know. This? I don't know anything about working with demons. All I know is that a demon said something regarding me and I just had to kill it. I, I don't yes, I did, well it done simple. on that, by the way. Yeah, I know. I did on a great job. You did. I single hit and beat his ass. Um, yeah. the, the point is, I have in all my years with the church, in all the you know you're just speaking like absolute blasphemy. I mean, I know you do this all the time. I shouldn't even be listening to you. You're like crazy, as we see. You were just freaking out of a rocks. Of course, rocks fall. That's how it works. Yeah, it just goes down. But in the in the absence of, a... anyways, that's I'm getting off track. That is that's a, it, that's more of an interesting philosophical point. Yes, the I'm, just, I'm rocks. just mentioning that you're um, a little bit super crazy. <laughs> And that you're saying these things that are blasphemous, and you're expecting me to like know? I'm asking you this, for an like, answer. Is it we need? Is we need an answer? Why? Why? What? What is the whole point? I feel like you're getting at something, but you're not saying it other than asking me this. No, to my knowledge, the point me. is if either these tablets that we found are. Someone, like, obviously, wherever they came from, either just by happenstance, the rest of them got destroyed, or someone tried to cover them up. And then the angels don't mention anything about this, but the demons do, and that, I don't trust the demon, which is why I'm trusting the research we got from Jens, who I do trust. Um, but it disturbs me that there is a there is a possible coalition of some kind, even if it was only temporary. But any interaction with demons promotes corruption of some level. I think we both agree on that, at very least. Yes. If the angels did, I can't trust the angels. You, you, you know them better than I do, ostensibly, the and you should are... know them better. But I can't trust them, and I'm asking you, if there is an explanation for this, if there is a very good reason, but you don't seem to know anything, and that worries me even more. Because we know these, this has happened, because we saw the demon come through, regardless of what that fucking bug-headed demon said, it came through the seal. It had some hand in its creation. There is something here the angels are lying to us about, and that is unacceptable. Oh, so you came here to lecture me like that? I'm, I'm asking you for an answer. I told you, you I don't have one. 
My answer that's is the that problem. I can. Don't you see? That's what. I... Then we're that... at. Then what do you expect me to do? What do you expect me to do? I am doing a very good job of not severing your head right now for this blasphemy. You know this. I am being way too lenient with this. Is this the yeah. only reason you called me down here? Or is there anything else you want to say? So I have more important things to deal with than your stupid to tomes? Your stupid, like, ideas and I freaking I hypotheses or whatever the word is. I a I have to get one lies then. Then they're not lying. Then why did the demon come through the seal? Because it is a the demon's in the church. It's a way of play. It's like a, it's like you take like a like a cork, right? Like you it's cork a cork. Cork. It's a cork. It's like a cork, and you got to make sure the cork like is. A cork. I think it's like a door, but it's locked from the outside. They got in. I don't know what you want me to say. I don't understand. I'm just saying. This. So okay, you got me back to my door. This place, this is locked from the inside. That's why there's no gods here right now. The seals are locked from the outside. That's why demons can get in because they made them in some small capacity, but they made them, and it is threatening the entire world because if the demons if those demons can get through the other demons can't we just have to, we just have to destroy them what do you think the angels are doing we're fighting against them our whole point is to eradicate them why the hell would they Excuse me. why i don't know well I, okay i can i can make some theories but that would be even more blasphemy and i don't think you want to hear them yeah if you want but... your your head to stay attached to your body better choose your words wisely mm. Mm. all right i may not have my magical powers but i have a glaive no that's fair um well okay but the main no oh, no no but the main point I wanted to ask you without Lixius around was if there was a reason and we don't have a reason and that is troubling because you are one of the prime protectors of this world as charged by the church as charged you should, by you should know and uh, you should know everything there is to know about defending this world isn't that right but that's at least what you should know John do I know <laughs> I mean, okay, in for sorry. the most part, um, we're just going to say there's some kind of indoctrination um, slash, uh, what's the word? There's just some shady I stuff going on that we talked about. You have you are not familiar with the 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 what's the word? What would be the re the redacted church history? So no, you don't know about the whole thing with the seals or or the the origin of of. I won't. Well, I'm not gonna get too far into it because that's spoilers. But uh, no, you don't. You're just told. You're just told the the good version, the good bits. Yeah. How to, okay. How to look exactly. At it, so, yeah. But so so no, like, if I was gonna say the defending of the world is just to purify the demons. Yeah. All the aspects well, important to the to the defense to the defense of the world. There's something Zin thinks they would know, right? I'm, yeah. Obviously. Right? He, he yeah. Knows. What's some examples like? Uh, real quick, Zin, you, I mean, the Azimars are, and the church itself have, have famously saved the world from complete destruction, like, at least three or four times in the course of the last few thousand years, so... Exactly. Scarthorn, for example, world. was famously taken down, the Scarthorn Queen was famously taken down by Azimars and the church in some capacity, it's still a little kind of murky, um... Yeah. The the uh, madness plague was also partially stopped by the um, by the Azimars. That was another big one. Um, there's a few others if I want, but so if you ever feel like it, you can also name a few things and I'll make them up later. But uh, canonically, the Azimars have been instrumental in stopping the world from blowing up at least four or five times. Exactly. Yeah. I yeah, say that. I'm That's very... Vincent says that. Yeah. No. I'm... And very well done. Um... This should have been part of it. And I don't, it must, it's got to, 
Are you not disturbed by that? That there's the, the, po the possibility? The ramifications? Finn's mind is spinning because, I mean, this is a something that's never, ever, ever, ever in a million years been like crossed his mind. Yes, that's, that's a phrase. <laughs> um, and just, I mean, I guess it does stick a bit with him, but he's also like really really trying to cope and push it away like he's real <laughs> it is definitely staying in his mind i will give Yay. you that Wait. but he a hundred percent like more like he's like like definitely pushing against it it is something that has been said to him and you're still alive which is a really you're lucky yes i'm i'm thanking my oratory skills at the moment for that but <laughs> <laughs> or diplomatic, I should say, maybe. I'm not gonna say that he's, like, actually really contemplating it. It is in his head, yeah. but he is not taking it seriously. No, that's fine. Alright. Well, I can keep going, but if you are adamant on leaving, we can put this matter to rest for now. <laughs> it's not something I'm keen to bring up in front of Lixius, though, if you understand. It's, uh, I'm sure you don't sense any demonic taint in them, but I can't be sure of that anymore. Taint in... Oh, um, yeah, I've been just kind of throwing that out there, haven't I? Uh, do you... Yeah. What, what do you know about Lixius? Zin is going to, again, take a step back and just... Again, and like, he, he feels like he's been a broken record. Because he only knows, like, a certain amount what he'd been told, but he doesn't actually yeah. know that much. And no. what he knows, he, he honestly has not thought about, it is only recently until he heard this thing about, like, the name Lixius being that thing that's been a part of him all his life. Hmm. Like, that was only a recent development. Yes. He know he kind of knows the names of the Archangel, Archangels, but he didn't know that's what it it was, you know? Yeah, just, yeah, okay. So he, he didn't know that, he just, like... It's like having a friend called uh, Jesus at your bowling club, but uh, you don't think he's actually gonna start walking on water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, um, okay, cool. So, I guess... Lixius is one of the angels, correct? Yes. From the okay. records, from the records. Mm. That is the name of one of the OG. I don't and... understand. Sorry, I have like idea why the, the the demon mentioned called me by that name, but I, I I'm not sure, and uh, it's just you, you, you like I just. <laughs> I know each Asmar has our specialty in regards to each art or Jane Angel. I mean, there are, there is what seven of us for a reason. Hmm. Um, Certainly, always seven. Yes, always seven. But we are each anointed and blessed by each angel. We are each chosen by the divine as this emblem. Do you know who your predecessor was? No. Why not? You'd think they'd want you to embrace the paladin history of... learn the great feats of your... Like, I know of... as the famous Asimov's, but... I mean... I haven't heard right. much about it. Uh, my okay. training, my, my stuff has been focused on the present with me now. Not so much that yet. I've been too focused on doing my duty as this being to the church. The new, as the, as you know, 
the newest, the youngest of all of us. I'm still learning. Indeed. Um, I, I probably don't have to mention this to you, but I wouldn't go around talking about what we've talked about with uh, any of your other Asimar or even mm. members of the church. I think if they have, if you haven't been told anything about it, prying into it might not get you anywhere nice. Well, prying into it won't affect me. It would affect you. So, mm. if anything, how do you think, like, how are you going to ensure I don't tell anyone? Right now, you're, you're completely at my mercy with this. Well, I could just run off to some corner of the world, I suppose, but I'm sure invested can. in trying to hold this world together. Mm, I'm you? trying to pursue all forms of corruption that exist in the world. Any chance that the demons can get a hold anywhere is must be pursued, wouldn't you agree? Yes, but that's why we slaughtered them. I don't see why you questioning this much about predicting the demons is as important as killing them. Because if you can predict them, you can this kill them not, before they can talking, do anything. I'm not talking about the demons. After. You asked me why I'm doing this. Well, I, I know you didn't, but I did. No, I didn't. <laughs> you said it. I am saying you just spoke. About a lot of blasphemy, church, but yes. A lot of blasphemy and high church secret information. All right. Well, can't be that secret. I overheard it. You said it to my face. Which is the problem. Yes. Is that what makes it blasphemy? I mean, the thought alone is, but now we have proof. You said it. Mm. You said it to my face, Atha. You're not- if I told any of my fellow Asimars in the church, you would not be safe. I'm so, rarely safe. Hmm. Don't act so sure, okay? I'm pretty sure I'm unsafe. You're unsafe? Yeah, you're unsafe. At all times. I was unsafe before I ever- Great. Well, not even extra unsafe. All I'm saying. So you better not. Pick me off. And maybe I'll need a favor from you in exchange, because... How- I- I- I'm just saying. Okay. I can let this- I can tell then. anyone- I can enact with this. I can uh, enact upon this blasphemy. Anytime. If you want to be safe... You gotta not wrong me or cross my path. I will forever do all I can uh, in service to mortal kind. If the mm. angels serve and do what a mortal kind uh, needs, then they have my full confidence. You talk. You talk, you talk big, boy. I, I learned so, it in my many schools. Right, aren't you special? None of them. None of them the ASMR, I'm afraid, though. I want to quickly, at least, before I feel like Zim wants to leave it a bit, but I want to quickly, like, take out the glaive and, like, in, in like, a like a flash thing, like, hold it. I just, like, at a distance, like, hold it towards Atham's neck. Hmm. Just, yeah, just Adam want Adam him doesn't to raise his sword or anything. He just stands there, sort of, yeah. pensively. Like I said, All right. you talk too much and too high and mighty. You're not as invincible or trustworthy as you might think you are. I you are well, not that. You. I've been too. Oh, it's too easy on you. You, oh, do not forget who you're in the presence of and who I am. And then I just want to like, almost like in a very skilled way, kind of nick 
just nick the, the neck, like a little scratch, and then move the glaive away and walk off. Like, I'm not trying to hurt him. I'm just trying to let him know he's like, fuck you, dad. Mm-hmm. You're not my mm-hmm. dad. Does that happen, uh, Atham, or is she gonna, mm-hmm. or is he gonna, um, is this gonna be contested? I'm no, leaving. No. Yeah, you, yeah, you turn around. Atham's just gonna stand there. Like, hmm. All right, next time, wear shinier armor. Um, so Atham and Zinn will have their confrontation. Um, we're gonna fly back up to uh Grima and um uh Al Karab, who are sitting on the bench. Um, and uh, he's gonna he's gonna look over at you, Al Karab, and he's gonna Grima's gonna say, Whew. So, what were you in the uh, what were you and the priest talking about, or monk? I don't know what the proper term is. Oh, he was asking me for stories. I, I get the sense. Well, I, I would say I get the sense, but he outright told me he, he doesn't get out much. So I imagine he gets a little bit bored. I can, I can imagine on here. I've, I've been in his place, although I had a, a coffin or a makeshift rass, or rass, raft most of my time instead of a whole island. But I can imagine it's somewhat similar. But yeah, it gets awfully lonely and boring out here sometimes in the ocean. Great Probably base. harder to keep a garden on a raft, too. That as well. I would have killed just to, like, I, I can't eat anymore, but I would have killed to just watch zucchini grow at, at certain points during my, my rafting days, as I call them. <sighs> Look, I'll be straight with you, lad. Can I can I tell you something? Sure. <laughs> I'm afraid. Afraid of well, death? The end, at least. I mean, I guess that's what you could call it, because that's what it is. But in my mind, I guess I died a long time ago, and I became this... And to be honest, it's been so many years as this, I don't even remember what I was like before half the time. I I had those funny accents and the and the jokes and all that, but a lot of the time it feels like more of a character than it felt like me just because I was well, as I told you, I was trying to keep the souls of my crew entertained, but honestly part of it was me trying to remember what I was like before and it just became a caricature. But I I was sitting there and I was looking at that stairway down to the end and I, I just, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I just, something came over me and I don't, I didn't think I could do it. Your, you at least set your, your crew free. I talked to them a little bit. They didn't talk much back, but I walked them down the staircase after some contemplation, and I think it's what they wanted. When I was sent back up, they they were gone. Feels weird not having the orb in my hand always. I keep walking mm-hmm. around, and, and then I, I suddenly think I'm forgetting something, and I turn back, and then I remember that they're gone now. But I'm happy for them. Honestly, this was what I was supposed to do. I feel a weight's been lifted off, but you ever have something pressing, something so important, constant and ever present that it it feels like it's it's always there, almost like a companion. And then once it's gone, you don't know which way to to go. Like you've been pressed, you've been pushed in one direction for so long. You don't remember how to navigate for yourself in a way. I I couldn't say I've ever, um, I couldn't say I've ever experienced uh, losing a a, a pressure like that. Um, you know, I've, I've never, I've never had, had such a pressure and then lost it. Um, it seems would would you consider it freeing or or it, it from from the sounds of it it seems like you almost would prefer to continue your your quest to to free your crew 
No, it's it's complicated. I, I I'm glad it's over. If I could shed tears anymore, I probably would have when I finally let them go. It, you know, when I was walking down, it almost I could almost feel hands clapping me on the back or or hugging me again and or making jokes. There was a warmth there for a second. And it was a warmth I hadn't felt in a long time. So I think it is freeing. It's just I got back up to the top of the staircase again, and I looked down, and I thought about what I would do myself. And I don't know. I didn't. I was going to think the last thing I would do, I guess it would be fitting for it to be that, to set my crew free, but... It would certainly be... Um very very much a storybook ending it would be but i don't know i just i look around and i think is this really the end of the tale on this bittersweet note i have to admit i was always a bit selfish i always wanted the hero to win when i was watching plays and i i cursed the villains and i anytime anything out of you know anything unexpected happened any twist ending that wasn't i was a little childish i got a little miffed you could say but and so now at the end of my story i wonder if there's more i should do or if i should let it go are you to be honest i keep calling you lad but i don't know how old you are i are you do well, you have I'm... oh go ahead hmm? Well, I was going to ask, you said you never had that pressure relieved, but I don't know, at your age or whatever age you are, did, have you at least, do you have something driving you, something pushing you? Well, I've, you know, among my people, I'm relatively young, but, um, you know, I, I... I think we all have a certain um a certain drive and a certain push and I think that's what uh keeps us going. Uh, I I've definitely had um I've had pressures um you know we all, we all need a drive. We all need something to keep us going. Everybody needs needs a of I don't mean to sound dramatic, but everyone needs a battle to fight. I don't think you're being dramatic at all, lad. I guess I just never... My battle was so long and so arduous, I just never thought what it would be like when the battle was over. Well, I think that's up to you. Um, I'm, I'm, if you wanted to, I mean, it sounded like you were welcome to walk down the, those stairs. It's, I, I think, really, that's a question... You know, obviously, I'm not going to tell you what to do. Um, that's really a question you've got to ask yourself. I mean, are you, do you think you're done? If I, if, if I could put it that way, do you have more you feel like you could, you is rather, is there more you want to do? Uh, honestly, living this long, I feel like I've lost part of myself. You know, if I could say honestly, Al Karab, is that I think I just want one adventure more. Just one something else to finally feel like my old self again and just feel like back when I had my crew and then I think I'd be satisfied. I know when to call it quits and to... to admit when you're done but I just want to know what that feels like one more time before I have to go well I'm sure that could be um, I'm sure that could be arranged I mean I, I certainly enjoyed having you on the on our ship I, I can't speak for everyone else but um, I would be happy if you had decided to stay if you decided to Come, I think they're like you know we're trying to rescue their friend or something. It's like a prison break, essentially. I mean, what what 
what what's more adventurous than that? <laughs> yes, and I do have a lot of experience freeing friends. Well, that's true. If you want another adventure, I mean, you you're you're probably traveling with the right people. But it's up to you ultimately. Hmm. Well, I bet you could use a captain at least helping you get to maybe the next island at the least. But who knows? That that Atham fellow was doing an admirable job. But Admiral a bull job. You do you do help me exercise me old funny bone. He you know elbows you a little bit. Um I do well let me ask you this, Al Crab. Do you what do you have that pressing weight now? Do you have something pushing you somewhere? Sure. I mean, I've got, um, you know, I've got my research. I've got a, you know, there's always more to discover. Hmm. And do you think when you've discovered enough, if there is such a thing, do you know what kind of person you'll be at the end of it? I'd like to think I'd stay relatively the same, but... I mean, in reality, in reality, people change. Um, I think it would be a, I think it would be a folly to try to predict my, my, um, my changes throughout life. Your arc, one could say. One might say my character development. Yeah. Yes, you could say that. We were fond of saying that on the old ship. Um, Classic term. Yes, yeah, normal term. We all say this to ourselves. Um, well, I appreciate that. And it's nice to be talking with a friend at a place like this at the end of, well, I guess at the end of the world in a way. Yeah. I'm, I'm honored that you would, you would call me your friend. Oh, it's been a long time, Al Crab, but you're one of the nicer fellows I've met in a long time. And so... If I have any friends, it's you right now. Especially because they all die. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Alcrab probably like laughs and then forces himself to to not laugh at that. <laughs> it's okay. It's it all humor I find is, has been the best way to deal with my sanity. As you guys are finishing talking up with that, um or finishing talking about that, um, Ama comes back as, after walking around the island. He's like, ah, well, I hope I'm not interrupting. Should I take another lap or, or should, uh, or am I free to join you guys? Um, Grimma's going to be like, ah, oh, no. The lad and I, I think, have spoken about um, what you, or what, what I wanted to speak about. So uh, if you care to join us, please, let me give you back your seat. He goes, no, no, please. I, we spend all day sitting uh, cross-legged anyway, might as well put that skill to use as he sits in front of you guys very peacefully. He says, now please, um, if you're ready, I would I would like to heal your, your tail, Mr. Alcrab. Sure. Um, I just want to preface this. Uh, I'm not a, a teller of stories. I, uh, I tend to collect them more than I um, more than I tell them, but I suppose I've I've heard and I've heard enough that I I imagine I can't make too bad a storyteller. Um, this was one I've heard I've heard a number of times. My my family used to to say it to me a lot. Um. Uh, it, you uh, Ama, you had said you're you you enjoy origin stories, right? creation stories uh well definitely when you're sitting here so long always dealing with the end something about hearing about the beginning is quite flavorful it, it, it changes the dynamic a little bit i like to hear them often the two are 
I found related. Um, my family, though, used to used to used to say that sort of the beginning of of everything was, and you know, a lot of a lot of creation stories start out similar to this. But you know, the beginning of everything, you know, order and and chaos, right? And so before people, there was just like a void of of churning energy, and some of it was uh, chaotic, and some of it was orderly. And slowly over time, this 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 energy condensed. Um, uh, and it, it condensed and it consolidated, but chaos and order dislike one another. Um, the two are opposites, the two are repelled. And so they slowly separated, falling apart, and in their wake was left just this pure mass, um, a mixture of the two, uh, uh, the, the origins of Tiercy. And so for ages, such a such a world has existed as a as a chaotic. Uh, I use chaotic here to mean not in the sense of chaos, the opposite of order, but as sort of a uh, an eclectic mixture of the two. Um, and so, as time goes on, this is this is why Tirsi exists as it does. Everything changes. Chaos condenses. Order pulls away from it. Order condenses. Repels the chaos. Um, it's an it's a never ending battle that I've always heard can't be won, but yet it's fought every day, um, and and thus is has and always will be the folly of those who live there to fight this hopeless battle between the two uh, without the knowledge that really the the the, the two are. So linked that there's nothing an individual can do. Now, sort of the moral of this story was uh, uh, a bit up to debate um, from those I've heard. I've heard often that you know we we simply exist on the order and chaos, and we're we're moved by it, and it's sort of inevitable and unchanging. And the only thing one can really do is accept that and m make peace with their fate. Um. On the other hand, of course, I've heard one must be stomped out for, if, you know, if they fight each other, we get rid of one. Um, there's there's no more fighting. They all remain and only then can we find peace. Of course, that was countered then by, you know, Tiercy's order and chaos. Should one be destroyed, everything going to be diminished. And with a life without one is just a life less full. I don't know how I personally feel about this this story. I, I don't know if I've I've necessarily uh, been particularly swayed by any of the theological points I've heard, but it's an interesting tale and it had a rather up in the air moral. You can see that um, Captain Grima and Ama are both. Um kind of, you know, listening intently, sort of enraptured in it. Um, and um, Zinn and Atham, did you guys say that you were both leaving, or did Zinn just kind of storm out and Atham was, was staying Zin, in the you know, was, uh, Sorry, Atham will leave at some point. I guess he'll, he'll finish making any notes he can. I'll leave that up to you how much time that would take. Um... Yeah, I mean, it's mainly a crystalline chamber. It's kind of hard to study, so it won't take too much time. I'll let you join this, the, the conversation whenever you feel like. But, um, Zin, you're going to come out, and you're going to kind of t catch the tail end of, of Al-Karab telling the story. And um, Alma is going to turn to you and say, Oh, now, Zin, or sorry, Sir Zin, uh, mm. what do you back. feel about that? Exactly, an endless struggle between order and chaos. Now, I believe that some have said that struggle gives meaning to life and potentially death, depending on how you look at it. So, do you think endless struggle means that there's endless meaning to life, or does it seem like something that needs to end, would you say, as somebody of your high up in your church, as you've said? What is your take on it? Uh, in a less uh, convoluted sort of way, uh, 
in the end, order will triumph and peace will be guaranteed. Mm. Mm. Well, certainly a peaceful ideal. And yet surely chaos triumphing would, would do the same thing. The two are fighting with one another. And if everything exists as a mixture of the two, then if you're removing one, then are you diminishing all things? Hmm. Your origin story is interesting, but um, no, the, 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 the loss of chaos would mean the best and the eradication of dark. Anyways, uh, enough chit chat. I think we have to be going. Half will walk out at this point. There's more parts of the universe than just order and chaos, but yes, we should get going. Um, well, Captain or C Captain Grimma and Ama are going to stand up. Um, Ama's going to dust himself off and he's going to say, however, or how true, I guess it's all up to a personal interpretation. Um, you all are leaving then, I assume? Uh, he's going to look over at Captain Grimma. Uh, and I kind of look through everybody and ending on Captain Grimma. Um, n all of you are satisfied, I assume? Zed's so going to raise his brow at Captain, Captain Grimma. He's going to be like, you not joining your crew? thought that was the whole reason we came here. It was, well, lad, it was mainly to make sure that they were safe. Their souls, as I'm sure you know, as a paladin of your order, are a valuable commodity to some and a tasty food to certain predators. So I wanted to make sure they got to their end safely, which I've done. Me, I never really knew what to do with myself in life, and it seems in death as well. <laughs> mm. So. I was actually going to be wondering, you might need a captain to help get you to the next few islands or to this place, especially if it moves around, a skilled captain would be best. I would like just to do one last thing that felt like me, to remember myself before I go on to whatever's next. Fair enough. Honestly, I'd rather have someone more learned than... I don't know if Atham's shown up yet. He's just going to kind of like glance it at them other than him manning my ship. Mm. <clears throat> I mean, well, whenever you decide, I'll be on your ship and I'm going to walk down to the pier. Oh. Captain Grum is going to look over at Yuzin then. He's like, I respect a man's ship and his captaincy, so whatever you decide, I will follow, but I would be honored if you helped me have one last adventure before I have to go, just so I can remember myself. Sure. Okay. As long as, I mean, I need someone to captain the boat, but... Mm. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it doesn't actually care that much. <laughs> That's fine. Captain Girl like, well, that works out for us. And he's going to look over and, you know, clap um, Alcarab on the back. Looks like you're stuck with me for just a little bit longer. Wouldn't want to lose you. Right, with your navigational skills, I feel like that'd be hard. You're the best man I've ever seen chart the stars. And, and that means something because I've been around for a few centuries. Well, it's a lot of practice and a little bit of magic. <laughs> well, let's see if you can work it again. It seems that your friends are back as he gestures up to the sky um, with the sky turning to stars from just inky blackness um, as you guys start to descend. Ama stays at the top of the stairs. and He says, thank you all for coming. It was lovely to meet you. Please try and find us again should you ever need our services. It's a pleasure meeting you too. He smiles awfully with Evan. his. Oh, sorry, what were you saying, Tin? 
I feel like, oh no, Sin didn't want to say anything. I think Sin's just going to wave and then walk off. With that, then, uh, Grum is going to wave sadly to Ama as well. And he's going to start walking down the stairs as you guys all get back to, um, you all get back to, um, the ship and you start to un, you know, unmoor it, um, get everything in order. What do you think is going through everyone's minds after this sort of odd, um, encounter? It's pretty, the, the Sapphire Isle is somewhat of a legend. It's not. Not everybody knows about it. It's also called a few different things. Um, but uh, it's definitely a weird place. And supposedly there is some wisdom to be learned if you look hard enough every time you come here. Uh, what do you think is going through everybody's minds as they leave, given the conversations that happened? I'd like to hear them. Zin is mad at Atom. Zin is going to take time to himself and ignore Atom. And I'm same as usual. I mean, ask them and they'll grab them. Uh, What's going through your minds? Um, lots of very interesting things to think about. Um, lots of things to be angry about as usual, and lots of things to be worried about as usual. Me, 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 me. I pass them. I shove. <laughs> <laughs> I sold my. <laughs> <laughs> you just lost your brain privileges, young man, and like fries and <laughs> or tries to, and then you can't and do it. We already established that. And like, just stops it. It's like, damn it, I can't beat my children. <laughs> um, I'll grab what's going through your mind. Um, I'll grab probably a little, still a little unnerved by that. Uh, the the sapphire room. Um. Not necessarily, well, I guess the fact that he doesn't have access to magic, just in the fact that, like, he's never really not had access. Like, he's he's never not been able to do magic. So it's, like, all of a sudden, like, what the hell? This is weird and different and scary. Um, He's also probably pretty happy that, um, uh, that Captain Grimm is still here. Um, Captain Grimm is pretty cool. He's a cool guy. Um, so you guys man the ship. You un, you know, get out of the the little inlet, um, and you start turning past it, and you're back on um, your your way. Um, you kind of start charting the stars. Captain Grimma's back at the helm. He's he's relaxed now. It seems there's a weight off of his shoulders, and you can see a look in the eye socket of a determined skeleton rather than one of worry and kind of shambles. He seems to have a renewed vigor to him. Um, you guys are charting through. It's a cold night. The wind cuts through the deck, and um, you can all feel it regardless of what room you're in, but it's still a beautiful night with the stars out and the, the ocean kind of barreling against the hull as it cuts through the waves. Um, but then you start to smell smoke, mm. and off in the distance you see, just against the dying of the light, a black column of something cloudy over the horizon as you guys head toward it. And I think that is where we're going to zoom out from the ship, and we're going to go back through the clouds and seeing that there's some island off in the distance, potentially burning or having been burnt, um, as we go back across the waves and away from that ship.